Hey, everybody, I'm Zach. And I'm Jesse. You're watching Tesla Time News. Episode 556. And now you know. So Tesla Asia just posted, produced our four millionth vehicle at Gigafactory Shanghai, thanks to all our owners and supporters. And look at that, they aren't using balloon numbers anymore. Now they've got a fancy lighted sign. What happens to that when they're done with it? Just goes in the rec room. <laughs> Somebody gets to take it home, I'm sure. How are you lighting your living room? Four million <laughs> sign. <laughs> Tesla sold 73,145 vehicles in China in November, which is down 0.5% year over year, but up 181% month over month because sales are being driven crazy by the Model Y L. Mm. And Elon said, congratulations. Tesla Megapack posted Chile's first utility scale Megapack project is underway. It is a 225 megawatt or 900 megawatt hour battery in the Atacama Desert. And, you know, we're going to be talking to Patreon bonus stories today about a Megapack system that is bigger than this. All right. So Elon responded to Kathy Wood at ARK Invest on Sunday when she posted about ARK's open source SpaceX model. Elon posted, a major additional factor should be considered satellites with localized AI compute where just the results are beamed back from low latency sun synchronous orbit will be the lowest cost way to generate AI bit streams in less than three years. And by far the fastest way to scale within four years because easy sources of electrical power are already hard to find on Earth. One megaton per year of satellites with 100 kilowatts per satellite satellite yields 100 gigawatts of AI added per year with no operating or maintenance cost connecting via high bandwidth lasers to the Starlink constellation. The level beyond that is constructing satellite factories on the moon and using a mass driver, which is an electromagnetic railgun, to accelerate AI satellites to lunar escape velocity without the need for rockets. That scales to more than 100 terawatts per year of AI and enables non-trivial progress towards becoming a Kardashev 2 civilization. Wait, what? <laughs> Uh, yeah, so this is talking about putting AI into space. Uh, it's talking about putting factories on the moon that make those satellites and then launching them from the moon, which is easier than doing it from Earth. Now, Brett Winton from ARK Invest responded. He said, yes, we plan to update this work. Presumably, SpaceX would own and operate the computer A, Tesla as probable chip supplier, XAI, one of many potential customers. Elon responded, saying once there are lunar factories, robots and mass drivers on the moon, such that the entire loop is closed, the system probably decouples from the conventional currencies and operations operates autogenously in watts and tonnage. Uh. <laughs> He's <laughs> making his own space empire. So let's see if some others can help us clue this in. Apo Structura says Elon Musk talking about sending one megaton or one million tons of Starlink satellites for AI compute to orbit per year. For context, we send about 3,000 tons to orbit annually and most of it is already SpaceX. One million tons would mean 25 plus Starship launches a day. In just one day? Blaze responded, he did say Starship would launch 24 times in 24 hours before, so it checks out. He's been telling us the plan the entire time. And Elon said, yes. Phil Bazell says, Elon explains space-based AI compute. He's going to need a fab. Yes, he is. Elon said, it is the only way. Chip cost per trillion operations will drop several orders of magnitude. So this shows that Tesla is probably going to get into chip manufacturing. Um, okay, but why? Glad you asked. Because the number of chips that they're going to need is far more than are being produced on Earth right now. Elon went on to say, lunar factories and mass drivers get to 100 terawatts per year, 10 petawatts per year if you get really ambitious. So it's clear to me that Elon has played the expansion to Factorio, uh, where you get to build satellites and do all sorts of stuff in space and on other planets and stuff. Wow. Okay. I guess this is why auto analysts shouldn't cover Tesla anymore. All right. So you know how on many apps like Spotify, you get a year end recap of like what your most listened to song was that year or like how many songs you listen to all year. Yeah, it's like Spotify wrapped or whatever. Well, Tesla is rolling out a new feature to the Tesla app called Charging Passport that does something similar. It kind of gamifies supercharging by keeping track of your year in charging and then share some of the fun info with you. 
Like what? Well, like these charging badges for visiting places like the Tesla Diner or Oasis Supercharger, etc. You get Explorer badges, Green Saver badges, etc. There's also total unique superchargers visited, total charging sessions, total miles added during charging, top charging day, your longest trip, favorites, etc. So is this part of the uh, holiday update? Because um, I don't see it. Oh, yeah. So it's iOS users just got the new update, but us Android users haven't gotten a Tesla app update since November 18th. Uh, when you do get the updated app, you can find the charging power passport fun stuff under charging on the homepage of the app. And by the way, the new Tesla app version 4.51.5 introduces a real time vehicle locator on the homepage that activates upon rotating the phone. It displays a dynamic arrow pointing towards the car's location as the user moves. So you can just like stumble towards your car, even though you could do that before with a little map. This is just well, now you don't have to read the map. It's a compass that points towards your car. Yeah. I mean, I guess this is getting ready for the day when the robo taxi app rolls out and you just kind of like don't know how a map works. <laughs> we need the the dumbest people on earth to be able to get in those cars. Left. <laughs> oh, there it is. I don't know what left is. <laughs> Okay, this is a case where the headline sounds better than the story actually is. Tesla rolls out Robo Taxi app worldwide. Okay, so. Oh my God, no, we no. can go get a Robo Taxi. No. We should just do the show from a Robo Taxi. I'm so excited. No. Oh my, worldwide. Okay, so technically, if you have an iOS phone, you can download the Tesla Robo Taxi app in more than just Austin, Texas, and San Francisco Bay Area. That was true in the US before. Uh, but the Robo Taxi app is now available on the Apple Store in Japan, Thailand, Hong Kong, South Korea, Australia, Taiwan, Macau, New Zealand, Mexico, the US, and Canada. I'm but, driving to but, China. I'm gonna take. Take a car all the way to Australia. Uh, but that does not mean that you can hail a robo taxi outside of Austin and San Francisco at the moment. Oh, okay. So I so I can't drive to Australia. It, it's good news. It means they're getting ready for it, but it's it's not like it's available in those places. Okay. I mean, it may be that Tesla did this so that way people coming into the US from those countries could hail robo taxis when they visit Austin and San Francisco. Yeah. Or maybe Elon is on the Chamber of Commerce for Austin and San Francisco and he's trying to boost tourism. All right, Cyber the Cybertruck Roundup. Yeah! The Cybertruck Roundup. And uh, maybe people didn't believe me the other day when I said that these are Cybertrucks at the Gwanmyong Delivery Center in South Korea. There are now Cybertrucks owned by South Koreans in South Korea. Isn't That's that cool? Really, really cool. I mean, at least 100 of them and more every day. Nice. So awesome. All right, for a little SpaceX news here, Elon Musk said support Starlink in Namibia. Lauren Dreyer, who works at SpaceX, says if you want to see Starlink in Namibia, please email licensing at cran.na and voice your support for Government Gazette 8795, Notice 897, before December 12th. Namibia is at a pivotal moment in its digital future. The country ranks 149th out of 156 countries globally in median download speed, and fixed internet penetration rates are below 5%. But don't send any attachments in your emails. They won't be able to they open them. They won't be able to open them. We're sponsored today by our good friends at Smart Charge America. I'm really happy about this partnership because we have actually been big fans of Smart Charge America for years. When our buddy Joe Barletta, the president of Smart Charge America, told us that he'd like to help sponsor the show, we were both really stoked. Smart Charge America is the company to call when you need to install EV charging. Whether you're a property manager trying to figure out how to bring EV car charging to your tenants or a homeowner trying to figure out how to get EV charging for your family. Trust us and make your life a whole lot easier. Just go to Smart Charge America. The link is down below. You'll fill out the simple form and Joe and his team will get right back to you to make it happen. And for a limited time, at least until Joe comes to his senses, use our link or tell them that Zach and Jesse sent me and you'll save 15% off of your installation. Do it today. I know you'll thank us. And now it's time for video contributor stories. And look who we got. It's a small world. Here is Joe Barletta himself today for a couple of video contributor stories. Take it away, Joe. Hey, Zach and Jesse. Joseph Barletta here with Smart Charge America. I wanted to show you something pretty cool that I discovered the other day. Check this out. So we talk about redundancies in the Tesla means of opening the door and you have the latch there. But one of the things I discovered was that with your Cybertruck, you can actually go into drive, reverse, park, and or if the screen's not working, I used to have a 2023 uh, or actually a 2014 Tesla Model S. And sometimes while I was driving, the screen would kind of just reset itself. It's fine because I had the manual shift. But with this, if the screen does go out for any reason, well, you do have an emergency drive, reverse, or even the ability to put your car in neutral and park. Thought that was actually pretty cool when it comes to things. Now you know. 
I didn't know that. How did I not know that? That those buttons are up there. Are they dark when they're not lit? Mm -hmm. Oh, so when you touch them, they wake up. It's uh, I believe when you put your foot on the brake pedal at a stop. Okay, is when they turn on. I'll look up next time. Yes. All right, and here's something else uh, you may not have known. Uh, Joe is going to show us how to get service mode in your Tesla. All right, folks, Joseph Barletta here with Smart Charge America. I'm going to show you how to throw your vehicle into service mode. This is a 2020 Tesla Model Y. Basically hit on the main menu screen, go down to software, and you'll see it's running off of version 12 software. But here you'll just hold down the word model in your vehicle's name. And for about three to five seconds, let go. It'll actually give a service uh, access code. Go ahead and put the word service in. Type service in, hit OK, and enter. And then you're going to go into service mode. You know service mode because it's got red there. And let it pull up the information. You can go into all things service alerts, figure out stuff like that. But honestly, all your service alerts are uh, taken care of by your over-the-air updates. One of my favorite ones is the actual service history. You can go and see when it was serviced by Tesla, what they did, uh, which is huge. And then, of course, we're battery we're battery geeks, and so we love the high voltage system. Just trying to figure figure all that out. So that's that. That's that in a nutshell. If you want to exit uh, service mode, go ahead and just hold down the button here. It says exit service mode, and you're all done. So just a little little information to get you familiar with, uh, better familiar, or more familiar with your actual Tesla. Cheers, guys. Joe is like a walking Grokopedia of everything EV. How does he keep all that in his head? He knows more about Tesla's and especially charging than I do. <laughs> Every time I talk to him, I'm like, oh, I, I did not know that. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. All right, it's time for our Patreon bonus stories. And on our Patreon today, we are about to have Grok pick the winner for the EVject Escape Connector. So don't wait. Join us on Patreon and enter to win now. And of course, we've got our Patreon bonus stories for just our lovely patrons. And Investor Club bonus stories for our Investor Club members. So much to talk about today. Don't miss it. And also, turn up, turn up, turn up the volume for a second. Turn up the volume. Okay, cover your ears. Is it up? Is it up? Okay. And are you looking for that perfect last minute gift? How about a year of Now You Know Patreon bonus stories and all of our giveaways for just 12 bucks? With no shipping delays, head on over to Patreon and print out the gift card, sign up, and you're done. A year of happiness. We're talking hours of bonus content. Check that one off the list. Wow, how easy. Patreon.com slash now you know. Okay, you can put the volume. Okay, volume check, volume check, check one, two. Okay, we're back. Please consider supporting us. It would help us out so much. All right, we're back from Patreon bonus stories. Time for the shout outs. These are important people to keep the lights on here in the studio. Who do we got today? We've got Al Gerdas, Brad Cardew, Hacking Hollywood, Matthew Type R, and Tim Evans. Thank you so much for supporting us. We cannot do this work without your help. All right, it's time for Elon's X's of the week. And Elon posted, X is seeing record-breaking downloads in many countries in Europe. Now number one in every EU country. Hmm, hmm. funny. I wonder what happened this week in the EU. Elon said, exawatts, so you're not really trying. And for reference, an exawatt is one billion gigawatts or one million terawatts. Another perspective is we humans on Earth currently make and consume about 25 terawatts a year. So one exawatt is 40,000 times more energy than the entire population of the planet uses currently. Okay. Or you're not even trying. Elon said, dissolve the EU and return power to the people. And that's not that hard because the parliament is just a bunch of people that are unelected anyway. Elon said, children should be proud that whites in the West ended slavery worldwide, which had existed for thousands of years. Not really taught in school, though. Elon said, members of a nation must have a common culture or it is not a nation. Interesting. All right, it's time for community mail time. Community mail time. Hey, we got Tesla Guesser today? We have some Tesla Guesser. All right. I'm I also ready. have some wonderful news. Yeah. This year, a Tesla Time News falls on Christmas. Oh, yeah. We didn't want to make our wonderful editors work on Christmas. Why not? So, <laughs> so what we're doing this year is a game show, a Tesla Guesser game Can show. Can I play? You are going to be the one and only contestant. I'm going to be easy to beat. <laughs> Everyone is going to be playing along at home. Okay. So see if you can beat me. You're going to see if you can beat Zach. I will not know the answers. I've been saving up a couple months worth of Tesla oh. Guesser. So we're going to have a couple different categories. Right. It's going to be really fun. Let's get on with Tesla Guesser today. Okay. This is a warm up for me then. All right. Where in the world is this Tesla? So Pete sent this one in. Uh, the van? Uh, there's a there's a, oh, a Tesla, Tesla right yes. in front of it. Oh, gotcha. Okay. But the van has a lot of hints on it. Oh. This is a tricky oh. one. We weren't expecting this one. Okay. 
How, what's this one? Cybertruck. Joel spotted this service Cybertruck. Ooh, where, where is it? Well, I can't tell you because uh, this right, is the right. whole point. Now, full points for the first two pictures. Um, now, we're going to remove half a point after this last picture. Ready? Last chance to pause. Ready? Here it is. Oh, so this is really the honor system. Yeah. I mean, you can cheat, I guess. We can't enforce anything. <laughs> we're just a video on your screen. All right, where is this Tesla? Well, you can thank Jay for this one because it's actually solvable. So look closely out at the horizon. See if you can spot what I see. Do you see okay. what I see? Hmm. How about this one? Okay, this one, I'm gonna say it's difficulty level impossible. Yeah, it's like zoomed in. Tom spotted this Waymo. Oh, well that kind of narrows it down. It can only be in a few places. No, it's somewhere outside of where Waymo typically operates, which is why this one is uh, impossible. So, okay. good, so good luck. Of, how many points do you get if you get it? <laughs> um, five? Yeah, sure. Let's okay. go with that. Because again, the points don't matter. Yes, they do. Uh, all right, where's where's this? So Yuri sent this one in. Full points for only the first picture. Okay, of the supercharger? Yep. And or actually, it's not a supercharger. That's it's a, a Volta? That's, no, it's a shell. Oh. They probably bought it from Volta. Okay. I have no idea. And then here's the second picture. It should give you some idea. Hmm. You get extra points if you get the city right. I don't know. That's going to be pretty tough. And lastly... Jeff spotted this one, and Look luckily, it's a pretty easy one. So we're going to tell you the answers at the end of the show. Okay. All right, it's time for Supercharger Reviews. Let's see what people have found out there in the world of superchargers. Hi, Now You Know community. This is Joel at the Broadview Heights, Ohio. It's a eight stall, 250 kilowatt, right off Interstate 80 tollway. Inside's pretty decent. They've got Burger King, Pizza Hut, Starbucks, gas station food, clean restrooms. Overall, this one's uh, pretty decent. It is just the tollway though, so you can't go off into a town or anything, but it's still a six out of 10. Now you know. Hey, Zach and Jesse. We're here in Southington, Connecticut, off uh, exit 31 on I-84 at the new 12 stall. V3 supercharger. You got two charge point charging stations as well. There's a Target over there with a Starbucks in it. You got a Lowe's, Home Goods, and a 110 Grill restaurant. Overall, what, what do we give this one? What do we give this one? A seven out of ten? Yeah. There's a seven bridge out of over 10. there. There's a bridge over there, and the car over here standing next to us. Thank you so much for doing Supercharger Reviews. We've got a map on our website where you can upload your own and check out everybody else's in case you're going on a holiday road trip. All right, let's see if I got the first one right. It's in Asia. Do I have to be more specific? It was in Shanghai, China. Oh, well, okay, that makes sense. The I wasn't Giga expecting. Gigafactory is there, so. So we've got viewers who are in China sending us pictures, pretty nice. cool. This next one, service Cybertruck in Beaver Creek, Ohio. If you get the state right, you basically gonna get, get South Korea, but okay. <laughs> All right, this one, I mean, I don't know, Spain. So, way on the horizon, you see that? That is the VAB, the Vehicle Assembly Building in the Space Coast of Florida. This one's, the, the picture is actually taken in T Titusville, Florida. Oh. Because they're looking across to see Kennedy Space. So these were the easy ones. Now the hard one here. Here's the, the hard Waymo. one. Okay. Washington, D.C. How was I supposed to I know that? I have no idea. That, I, again, I said it was impossible. Okay. I mean, maybe you could analyze the air. <laughs> uh, okay. What's this one? This one is Daly City, California. Okay. And the Cybertruck one? Akron, Ohio, which is right next to Medina, Ohio, which is where, if you look really closely, you can see. I think I scored a zero. <laughs> Well, <laughs> it's looking good for everybody at home uh, competing against you on, on Tesla Gasser. You're going to have to... I'm going to have to get... work out or something. <laughs> yeah, my brain. Thank you for joining us today, everybody. Don't forget to head on over to Patreon next for your bonus stories and enter for your chance to win the EVject Escape Connector. We'll see you on Thursday, everybody. Now, now you know. know.